Touchstone is a place where students can truly take control of their own learning in a way that is purposeful and grounded. Touchstone is ASNI accredited, which is the gold standard of accreditation in New England. It means that teachers, instructional staff are not just coaching, they're not just pushing students through, they are truly setting up learning experiences that are meaningful, that are taking all the best tenets of progressive outdoor education and combining that with every skill that is critical and taught in every good school. Touchstone is on a magical eight-acre campus that includes an island. It is a campus that every inch of it is used by the school. The kids aren't just in a classroom. They are out, they have areas in the woods, they explore the perimeters, they are out exploring, digging in the dirt, finding their special spots. And one of the things I love about the actual school building itself is that every classroom has a door access to the outside. Um, and most of the classrooms are connected to one another. So it really lends itself to the fluidity of inside and outside and children in classrooms working together and being very adaptable. I've heard a lot of stories, a lot of friends that have kids that go to other schools, get home from school and turn on their iPad or turn on their Wii. Our kids come home from school and ask to go out and run out in the backyard and that's really what we want for them. We want them to enjoy the outdoors and appreciate and respect the outdoors and you know try and preserve the outdoors and those are all things that are foundational here. Touchstone is different from other schools I considered because I really saw it as a place where my child could explore his individuality through dynamic modalities of learning. I wanted to move away from what is sort of the Western traditional model of schooling where my child is filling out worksheets or sitting at a desk most of the day. I wanted him to be able to sort of explore the fullness of his individuality and his energy and his curiosity and I think outdoor learning spaces, opportunities to engage with kids in different age groups even, becomes really important in him sort of exploring who he is as a person. So as a college professor, one of the things that I see often with my students is that they come to school and they know how to do a very standardized education. So they are good at test taking but when I ask them to think outside the box, many of them struggle because they have had a lifelong education where people have told them what to think about and the questions that they need to answer. For us, active learning is perhaps the best thing that we could ask for for our kids to take from their earliest learning years because what always sticks with you is a passion for learning and for trying to investigate the world around you. And that's what our kids have. They wake up every day excited to go to school. They beg for us to stay in the after school program and they just want to be at Touchstone as much as they can. Touchstone has given um, my kids the opportunity to just be whoever they want to be and to really see that through other children in the school, which is really neat. All of the Touchstone families come together for different purposes and are here for different reasons. One thing that we really appreciate is we are a community, but individually we are all very different. We come from different walks of life, we have different challenges, but bringing us all together, it sort of makes us this really interesting melting pot. It's given our family the opportunity to meet and hang out with um, not only like-minded families, but also different families and experience what makes them a family. And so we really love that. It's a true community. It's really hard and it takes a lot of courage to do something different. Know that Touchstone is its own unique place and it is so invested in the whole child and your child's development as a thriving human being and we are so excited to have new people here. <laughs>